Here I am, walking a well-worn path. It's covered in pine needles and pine cones. If I wanted some pine resin to make like a sort of toothpaste or tooth tincture out of, I could go to a pine tree and do that, but I have places to be, and the sun is bright. Here are some lovely neighborhood dogs. They are not happy to see me. They never are. And here are some little irises. These are just like neighborhood landscaping irises, but Iris Versicolor is a potent blood cleaner. And what I mean by that is you use a root of the Iris Versicolor and it just like detoxes your body, it aids your liver, but it is a low dose herb. So like, don't go too crazy with it and definitely read up on it before you try it. Had to do a quick pit stop by the pine tree and show you the little pine cones that are making little pollen right now. The pollen's not ready, but when it is, we're gonna be making a pine honey with it. Pine pollen honey, that is. Pine pollen is a wonderful yang tonic. It really can boost your natural testosterone levels and give you a lot of energy. Here is some Japanese maple in bloom. Japanese maple is edible, although it is kind of astringent and dry tasting. The buds are really nice to collect and make a tincture with glycerin, and it can be used for things like herpes outbreaks, skin conditions, flare-ups, really good for all of that stuff. I had to get my favorite snack at the local market. It is coconut juice and some already squished uh, coconut donuts. The first thing that catches my eye is sheep sorrel. And that is this weird little arrowhead shaped weed. It doesn't look like much. It kind of looks like broadleaf plantain, but it has this very distinctive kind of roundy arrow shape. I think it's like a spade shape. And anyway, these leaves are sour lettuce greens. The sour taste of the sorrel helps activate the salivary glands, which can stimulate digestion and all sour things are beneficial to the liver. This is a really typical coastal Pacific Northwest forest. I'm actually in a disc golf park, so hopefully I don't get hit. Right here, we see Oregon grape. It has kind of shiny leaves that occur in like pears. And this is our trailing Oregon grape. It's really great as a natural antibiotic. It's actually pretty strong because it has a chemical called berberine in it. These tiny, soft, kind of fuzzy little leaves are on the ocean spray plant. The ocean spray plant, usually in the late spring and summer, has these beautiful white flowers that look like literal ocean spray. And apparently the native tribes around here used like a really strong tea of ocean spray bark, leaves and flowers to treat like measles and smallpox. So it probably has antiviral effects. This is our local wild flowering currant. The flowers are wonderful in jellies and syrups and tinctures as a sort of heart lifting, spirit lifting, antidepressant medicine. The berries also have very good cardiotonic and vascular tonic properties, but I have not personally seen any wild currant berries because the birds always beat me to them. Here we have one of my favorite edible greens, the Indian plum. Right now, the leaf and flower are just beginning to bloom and they are at their sweetest right now. They kind of taste like a bitter cucumber. Try as I might, I can't find any research on the Indian plum that tells me what its medicinal properties are. But as a general rule, if it's active in the springtime and that's when we harvest it, generally it will be good for your liver because the spring is the season of the liver. But all in all, a great wild edible green. Speaking of wild edible greens, as I'm leaving the forest here on this grassy, idyllic hillside are one of my favorite wild greens. This is Siberian miner's lettuce. It doesn't look like much. It just looks like a bunch of tiny, kind of like thumbnail sized green leaves. Some of them are a little bigger than that. But when the time comes, they will have tiny little pink and white flowers. And that's kind of how you identify them. The texture is really moist, like a rich, head of green lettuce and it really is a wild lettuce it's not bitter like many other herbs are and it's great to just eat on the trail 
However, I will not be picking them here because I don't know if dogs have peed here. Well, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried any of these wild herbs or edible plants. Bye!